Good morning dear brothers and sisters, today we will see the book of 1 Samuel chapters 29 and 30. 1 Samuel chapter 29, David spared from battle. In this chapter, we find David in a precarious situation. He is still living among the Philistines, who are about to go to war against Israel. The Philistine rulers gathered their armies to fight against King Saul and the Israelites. David and his men have joined the Philistine army, or so it seems. The Philistine leaders, including King Achish, are preparing for battle. As they get ready to fight against Israel, they look at David and his men, who are also part of their army. However, some Philistine leaders expressed concerns about David. They remember his reputation as a mighty warrior who fought against them in the past, and they fear he might turn against them during the battle. King Achish, who has been supportive of David, reluctantly agrees with the other leaders. He tells David that he appreciates his loyalty, but he advises David to return to the town of Ziklag, where he and his men have been living before the battle begins. David is hesitant at first, but he agrees to leave the Philistine army and return to Ziklag with his followers. David's departure from the Philistine army is a turning point. It spares him from having to fight against his own people, the Israelites, in the upcoming battle. Little does he know that a significant event is about to occur in Ziklag during his absence. 1 Samuel chapter 30, David's Return and Victory In this chapter, we learn what transpires in Ziklag while David is away. As David and his men return to Ziklag, they are met with a devastating sight. The town has been attacked and burned by the Amalekites, a group of raiders from the desert. The Amalekites have also captured the women, children, and all the possessions of David and his men. David's followers are heartbroken and angry. They blame David for their misfortune and even talk of stoning him. David, in his distress, turns to the Lord for guidance. He seeks comfort and strength from God. With God's guidance, David takes immediate action. He and his men set out to pursue the Amalekites and rescue their loved ones. They track the Amalekites for miles, eventually coming upon them. In a fierce battle, David's men defeat the Amalekites and recover all their captives and possessions. David's leadership, reliance on God, and his determination resulted in a great victory. The chapter concludes with David's decision to share the spoils of the battle with the leaders of Judah, demonstrating his commitment to unity among the tribes of Israel. In these chapters, we witness the delicate balance of alliances and loyalties, David's transition from the Philistine army to rescuing his people, and his unwavering trust in God during challenging times. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we reflect on the events of 1 Samuel chapters 29 and 30, we turn to you in prayer. In chapter 29, we see David faced with a challenging choice. Grant us wisdom in our own decisions, and help us uphold our commitments with honor. In chapter 30, we witness David's unwavering faith during adversity. May we find strength in you when facing our challenges and trust in your plans. Guide us with your wisdom. Help us trust in your providence, and foster unity and compassion among your people. We ask this prayer in Jesus' name, Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, we will continue with the next chapter in the next video. Thank you, God bless you.